Salve te omnes. Before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons. Thanks for helping make this channel possible. I really appreciate your support. Latin has five different classes of nouns. As we saw in the last video on understanding Latin grammar, each noun has to change its form in order to indicate what role it is playing in the sentence. And in Latin, different nouns change their endings in different ways, and each noun is classified in the way it changes form. These are called declensions. In this video, we will be covering nouns of the first declension. Look at this first sentence. Minerva es dea. Minerva is a goddess. Minerva is the subject, which is ordinarily the doer of the verb. But here the verb is est, meaning is, which is like an equal sign. So both Minerva and Dea have the same form and end in an A. This is the nominative form of first declension nouns. When first declension nouns serve as the subject, they always end in an A. You can also think of this as the dictionary form of these nouns, since they will be listed in the dictionary with this form. As I mentioned before, each noun has to change its form in order to indicate what role it is playing in the sentence. So let's look at the next sentence now. Minerva epistolam scribit. Minerva writes a letter. Here again, Minerva is acting as the subject and ends with an A. She is the doer of the verb now, the one who is writing. But epistola has changed to epistolam because it is the object, what the verb acts on. This is the thing that Minerva is writing. You see, although word order changes the meaning in English, Latin does not have a fixed word order. The words have to change form in order for us to tell which word is which. We could also rearrange this in Latin to epistolam Minerva scribit. The meaning doesn't change. There's just more emphasis placed on the fact that it is a letter that she is writing, and not a book or something else. But if we did this in English and said, a letter writes Minerva, it sounds strange and we can only guess the meaning since a letter cannot write. This is why the declinations are so important in Latin. The next sentence contains three different declinations. Minerva epistolam puellae dat. Minerva gives a letter to the girl. Here, puella is the recipient, so it changes to puellae, giving it the meaning to the girl. However, notice, in English we can also say Minerva gives the girl a letter, and the word order is fixed. But when we use to the girl, this phrase can be moved anywhere in the sentence, just like in Latin. We can say, to the girl Minerva gives a letter, or Minerva gives to the girl a letter. However, sometimes we have to use context to understand which declination is being used, because some of the forms are the same. The following sentence is ambiguous. Puella epistolam minervae legit. It can mean the girl reads Minerva's letter, or the girl reads a letter to Minerva. The possessive form is the same as the recipient form for the first declension. However, since a small story has been forming these example sentences, we know that this means the girl reads Minerva's letter. And the final form is a little harder to understand because multiple cases were combined into this one case. We won't go into all the different meanings here, but one of the most common uses is for location. When we use the preposition in, we are talking about where an action takes place. We use the following ablative form. Minerva in Silva ambulat. So if we look at the declination chart now, we can see that the first declination isn't so bad. It's pretty much just variations on A sounds. But I don't recommend just memorizing this chart. You will pick up these forms naturally and with much less effort through the free lessons linked in the corner. And there are so many declinations that it will really take a long time of boring memorization because we still haven't tackled the plurals yet. Here's the plural of the subject form. Puellae sunt dei. The girls are goddesses. 
Yes, there is another declination with the I ending. But this one is harder to confuse than the other two because it's the subject. Note also that the verb and other noun also have to change when the subject is plural. Puellae epistulas scribunt. The girls write letters. It's kind of nice that the plural form of the object ends in S, just like in English. And actually, except for third declension neutral nouns, all nouns in the accusative case, the object case, end in M when they are singular and S when they are plural. That's really convenient, but sadly the other forms aren't quite so friendly. And after this, the first declension nouns also become harder. Dei epistolas puellis dant. The goddesses give the girls letters. But in the plural, the recipient form and the possessive form are different. Dei epistolas puellarum legunt. The goddesses read the girls' letters. However, the ablative form is the same as the recipient form. Puellae in silvis ambulant. The girls walk in the woods. A few final notes. First declension nouns are almost all regular and are all feminine words, except for a few exceptions that were adopted from Greek. These are actually mostly names, but also four very common professions, namely poeta or poet, pirata or pirate, agricola or farmer, and nauta or sailor. So here's the complete declination chart of the first declension. Just to be complete, I'll introduce the names of each case, along with a mnemonic, but you don't necessarily need to learn these names. The subject is in the nominative case, the one nominated to do the action. And the object is the accusative case, the thing acted upon. The dative case is used for the recipient, because there must be someone else there for you to go on a date. And finally, there is the genitive case, which indicates possession, and you have to generate something before you can possess it. Notice also that there is a row called the vocative form. But this is the same as the nominative form for all but a few second declension nouns, so we don't need to worry about this for most declensions. It is simply the form used when addressing someone, like saying, Minerva, come here. Again, I encourage you not to try to memorize all these declinations, because there are just so many, and memorization really is no fun. Instead, check out the lessons in this playlist, where you will pick up the forms organically through comprehensible input.